on this episode, I talk about Pinterest on Twitter, a kosher Latin food truck, and Facebook running television ads in the UK? You ask questions and I answer them. This is the Ask Gary V Show. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 75 of the Ask Gary V Show. I am your host, Gary Bay Nurchuk, and I am eating. This is the kind of crap I eat now as I build up my muscle. Episode 75, guys. This is, you know, we are almost to 100. And the final episode, final episode 100 is going to be huge. More details to come. India, let's get into the show. Matthew asks, you said Pinterest and Twitter speak different languages. Is it wrong to have my Pinterest account tied to my Twitter account so when I post to Pinterest, it auto posts to Twitter? You asked him, Matthew. It is wrong. Um, but it's not super wrong, you know. Automation has a part where, you know, I'm, I continue to test what's scalable, what's not. The reason it's probably wrong is you'd probably get a lot more value and we all do it. I do it. I continue to test the wrong way to make sure about the right way. For example, yesterday I put, you know, we have started putting out pictures that are completely native to Twitter in the form. Yesterday's, yesterday's photo of me and AJ, you know, high five, surround yourself with people with permission. In the old days, excuse me, in the old days, I would have put the Instagram link in Twitter and it would look like crap in that crazy screen that is Twitter. It would have had a link to Instagram. You know, Twitter has made Instagram not native upload and I would have drove people to that photo. But now with the original piece of content, that got a great engagement, over 100 retweets and favorites yesterday and I accomplished the storytelling that I wanted on Twitter instead of using Twitter as a distribution to drive towards Pinterest for the added efficiency that created automation. Automation's great if you're just trying to make things happen, meaning like if you're just trying to get the task done. But what about the result that you're actually trying, like why do you tweet? You tweet to get your message out. And thus, you need to make content native. So I would say it's wrong because if you take that same pin, whatever you're trying to achieve on Pinterest, and you cropped, what's the crop? We don't, we don't, are any, none of the designers are here, right? Damn it. Um, you know, if you cropped it appropriately by default for the, let me, ugh, they took my phone too. Um, if you cropped it appropriately, it'd do better. So the answer is, yeah, it's a mistake. Hey Gary, Muttle from Twitter here. And I wanted to ask you, I have a kosher Latin food truck at South by Southwest. How can I best promote it? And how can I get you to stop by for a free taste of some of our great kosher Latin food? See you in Austin. You know, the best way you could promote it is to get on the Ask Gary B show, check. Can I stop by? Yes, check. It's double check, M. Gary, since the robots seem to be taking over in about five years, where do you see the role of mankind in an economy where physical productivity isn't really even an issue anymore? David. The robots are not taking over in five years, not even close. The robots may take over in 55 years. And so since that's so far out, I can't wrap my head around it, but if the robots take over, I've gotta be really dead honest with you, I'm not worried about the productivity. I'm scared crapless that the robots took over. Hey Gary, it's DJ Valori from Lodging Interactive. My question for you is, what's your sales process when you're working with a prospect? How involved are you with your sales team in pitching concepts, ideas, strategies, tactics? DJ, I'm heavily involved in getting the client new business pitches. I'm massively involved. Our, our success rate is over the top with me involved compared to me not involved. But once they come in, I'm more on the hunting side. On the farming side, I have a lot of SVPs, high level strategists who learn the business and then are pitching on a day-to-day basis. Don't forget, we, we're heavy retainer base and then we do incremental above. And so the retainer base kind of takes care of it and then the incremental is added value. So there's a little less stress for me to make sure that's checked off. But the SVPs, the senior people driving the business are the ones that really are involved in the incremental sales pitch day in and day out. Um, and I'm really involved in the, in the upfront locking it down. And that is a scalable model because if I do my thing, 
and it locks it down and creates that base, then, and if I can create it that it's profitable enough that everything is upside after that, then that's a good business model. David asks, what are your thoughts on Facebook and their need to start TV advertising? David, great question, and I'm really excited about answering this. You have to understand, everything to me is an arbitrage. So for most businesses in the world that don't have complete reach, right? TV is not the best value, hence your hashtag. However, for a company the size of Facebook that has reached everybody at some level, they've got two places they can go left, right? Which is, and notice it's in the UK. They can go, they can go, they're struggling a little with 13 to 15, but they're not gonna be able to market to them on TV and get them into the pipeline where Snapchat's winning. And then they can go actually much older, right? If you look at the dynamics of like, and, and this is not much older, but if you look at the dynamics of 70 to 90, there still may be some upside there. Um, and TV has some awareness. I think it's overpriced, but when you have a market cap of 225 billion, that's a hell of a lot more interesting to actually do some TV and has some justification over somebody who has a market cap of 50 billion or 50 million or 5 million or 500,000. Get it? So to me, I can see some justification around that tactic. You know, it may cost them a lot more for a user, but when you're left to so little users, you've got to pay a lot more. Whereas for all of us, there's so many users left, we have to pay as little as possible to have an ROI. Everything, there, there is no one size fits all. There is no absolute statements. And you've got to make decisions for your exact moment. Facebook television ads in 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, eh, 2015 in the UK market, more interesting. Guys, thank you so much for watching the show. We need a lot more questions on Instagram. I'm calling for it now. If you care about the show at all, if you want it to last past 100 at all, this is your only chance. Ask a question on Instagram. Here's the link to how to do it. Do it now, it matters. Question of the day. Where are your parents from? You keep asking questions, I'll keep answering them. Yeah, yeah, yeah.